Hello everyone, my name is Tiffany and today I decided to do a little makeup tutorial for you. I have a bit of experience in makeup because my parents have a makeup store and I've been practicing basically for my whole life. Um, today I'll be using Iman, Milani and Maybelline products to basically give you a demonstration of my daily routine for what I normally put on makeup. Nothing too heavy, natural looking, nice, simple, beginner's kind of makeup. So now, normally I start with my Iman Stick Foundation. I use clay too. Okay, this one instead. Yes. So, I basically just put it on like this, kind of like a crayon. I like this foundation because it's nice and easy to use and when it when you finish with it it dries looking very much like a powder it gives you a very natural kind of look alright now, once I've gotten it all over my face, I take my foundation brush. This one is just a, a generic one I just found in the pharmacy. It doesn't really have a brand on it. So, I basically just kind of brush it into my face. Just to kind of even it out. As you can see, it's covering my little dark spots. And imperfections. And giving me a very even look. I'm almost finished. It's a very easy product. To use that's the man stick foundation I think I said clay 2 before but I'm actually using clay 1 because I had a tan when I bought the clay 2 okay all right I think this is perfect now so next next what I normally use is the Milani black eyeliner. I like this one because this one, wait, this is actually Giordano, sorry. This is my Giordano black eyeliner. I like this one because it's waterproof, it's smudge proof, it's pretty awesome, it's really really nice. So, let's see, just sharpen this thing, so this is how I do it. I like mine to have this kind of full bodied look, this kind of smudged look, I'll show you. on the top and on the bottom to give you that really pretty eyed look just kinda trace it along there try to keep it as neat as possible comes with practice Again, this is just simple beginner's makeup, you know? Simple stuff. Yeah. Sorry for the sniffles. I have some wicked allergies right now. They're actually doing some work on my house. Alright, next thing. This is the Milani Easy Brow Eyebrow Pencil. Okay? Uh, this is dark brown. It's really, really nice. It's my favorite one. All you do is you just twist it up a little. And they have a brush on the end. First, you just brush in your eyebrows to make it look kind of neat. Earlier, I 
gave it a little touching up with I think this is Sally Hansen. This is my um, this is my eyebrow shaver. It's pretty easy. Comes with practice. Maybe I'll do a video for that if you guys like. So next, I just kind of color in here. Do not press too hard. That is an easily made mistake. They'll come out looking all cakey and just kind of not very nice. Oh so yeah. All right. So, so far, we have an awesome look going on here. A lot of makeup, we haven't used a lot of makeup yet. I figure we could use a little bit of powder now. This is the Iman Clay Medium Powder. I think it's a mineralized powder, so it absorbs oil. I think it's mineralized. So, this is a, what is this? This is a mineral brush. It just says mineral. It's not name brand or anything, but it's nice because it's very soft. It's nice. So, I just do this. Get a little bit on the brush. And rub it in. Softly. Over my nose. Kill it, my allergies. <laughs> just a little bit over here. We don't want to mess up what we just did with the eyeliner and the eyebrow pencil we just want to kind of finish the cooling effect of everything it's kind of let everything come together you know a nice pretty end look All right hmm what next next I think a little eyeshadow is in order so this is my eyeshadow. I think the brand is called Kiss Rose. As you can see, it's, a, it's very used because I use it a lot. I basically like to have a whole set of different colors so I can basically pick, choose, refuse. I also use Milani uh, eyeshadow. Sometimes I use um, Iman. Sometimes I use L'Oreal. There's all kinds that you can use. Just you have to have some nice colors. Some nice bright colors are the best ones to use. So now, uh, with eyeshadows now, this is where it gets a little trickier. What I find is the best way to do it is you use the middle, the kind of medium color on the lid, the darkest color in the middle, and the lightest color on top. So I like to use three colors. So let's see now. What three colors? I'd say I'll probably use some purple, a little purple, no, I use some, I use some pink on the lid, so a little pink on the lid. Yeah, I have a mirror over here just to help me a little bit so I can see 100%. Alright, not too much because it's kind of bright. A little bit on the next one. Just there on the lid. It's nice. Next. Next. Uh, that's my dog. <laughs> She's getting all upset. I don't, I don't even know what about. So anyway, uh, the next thing. Like a little purple. The purple is the, the darker one. The darkest one I'm going to use, basically. And that one goes in the middle. You notice I'm using my fingers? I don't know why. I just like to use my fingers. It just feels more natural for me. Some people say it's harder. I'm gonna use a brush now to put on this part. Because it's a little more technical. Because you have to get it just right. You wanna kinda get it over here to the side. Kinda work it in, blending it with the with the pink. Still making it go a little higher, you know, it's a little higher. 
and on the other side as well kind of work it along kind of blending it with the pink getting it more onto the side and above it working it like this kind of want to freshen up the pink a little make it more seen because we've kind of covered it with purple so we're just gonna kind of brighten back up the pink from where it was before you can see it like that pretty uh, and also I have kind of covered the eyeliner a little which is a simple thing to fix you know you just put back on a little eyeliner very very simple a little eyeliner easy see nice and pretty so next and the final thing that I would do for the eyes anyway the final things for the eyes is the lightest color because I'm kind of light brown I might pick white if you're a little darker maybe you might want uh, a gold or a bronze kind of earthy tones to kind of bring up your own beautiful skin color whatever color you are you can be beautiful with the right colors you just have to figure it out practice watch videos it's, it's not that hard I find earthy tones look better on darker girls more pinky uh, purpley colors make me look cuter on lighter girls whichever kind you prefer oh yes purple looks very nice on darker girls too very very nice darker purples I find uh, so now a little white goes on top as a highlight just a little on top you do not want to put too much because if you put too much it's gonna look kind of cakey and that's the last thing you want to do you don't want to look like a cloud you know simple so now I like to put just a little bit on the inside of my eye not the inside of my eye just like right here in the crevice it's a little bit give it that kind of I don't know it's just pretty you know it's just nice okay oh yes I almost forgot mascara Maybelline mascara this is the the great lash I like to put it on after I put on my my eyeshadow because it can get, it can get kind of messy if you're not careful so now the right technique to use this there's a whole of different techniques but my technique is I like to start from the top, kind of curling outwards, like this, go back in, then now you're on the bottom, kind of flicking out, using a rotating, whoops, daisy, using a rotating motion kind of fix this all right now what we see here is a common problem little slip of the hand you can fix it if you just calmly don't get aggressive with it calmly take your eyeshadow brush just kind of flick it in a little there we go it's basically gone no need to panic <laughs> That is the main reason why that normally goes bad. Yeah. So anyway, the other side now. Basically doing the same thing. Starting with the top. Then going to the bottom. This gives you a very nice full look especially for my kind of eyelash which is I barely have any lashes like it's kind of short and it's thin so this is nice for that it really is nice for this it's a little bit on the bottom alrighty 
Now time for the lips. Time to go into my little bag of secrets for that one. Uh, okay. I have this cute lipstick here. I really like the pinks. As in next time, I'm going to try more earthy tones to show you like different looks. This one is called Matte Orchid. This one is Milani. It's very bright, so not too much. And I like to put a little gloss over it because this is very matte, it's very dry. I like the more moisty look. If you like the matte look, then you can stay like this. It's nice, it's pretty. I like a little more moisture, so this is the Giordano Fuchsia Frenzy. Just put a little bit over it. Give you a kind of glossy look. That's what I like. Alrighty. Last thing now is just a little bit of blush. I have two options here that I use sometimes. This is the Milani Baked Blush. Well, they're both Milani Baked Blushes. This one is Luminoso. This one is Fantastico Moth. I prefer the Fantastico nowadays. It's darker. It's kind of, I really like it. It's like, you don't have to use as much, basically. So now for this, you kind of make like a fishy face like this. Do that. Like you know, this kind of motion. Okay. It's nice. Alright. So I hope you enjoyed the video. I hope it was informative. Next week, I'm going to try and do some contouring for you. I just wanted something like a nice beginner's video. Something simple, not too hard. Something more easy to understand. And next week, I'll try to do some contouring. And I hope you'll enjoy that. Okay. Please subscribe. Alright, thank you. See you next time.